Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a minute since I have put up a video. I've actually been getting ready for these art shows that I have coming up in the next few weeks. Um, if you're interested in attending, then I will leave all that information in the description below. They are here in Toronto, downtown Toronto, if you are around that area. But with that said, I did take some time out to record my process of these of painting these Converse shoes that I picked up. I decided to go with the Joker theme. Uh, one, because I like the Joker. Two, the new Joker movie was coming out, so I thought what better time to go ahead with this theme that I had and these ideas that I had running around in my head. Um, so if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you like the video, if you like the end results with these shoes, then give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below who your favorite Joker is. All right, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Whenever I paint on a black background, I generally start off with a white base. Um, if the design or the character that I'm painting is simple enough, I will only need to use white. However, sometimes I do use uh, gray as well to help discern different parts of the character and separate them from each other just to give myself a better visual of the character as a whole so in this case i did the hair uh more of a lightish lighter gray um, to separate it from the outlines of the face and then from there i will just continue to build my layers and continue to shade and then eventually i will add color on top of that so with that said, um, especially with matte black shoes like the Converse that I have here, um, it, it's got a little bit of a shine but barely any. Uh, using the flat black Angelus paint actually helps. So if I do make a mistake, if I need to correct anything, um, change the position, because I was only using white and grays as my base, I can cover up any mistakes with the flat black paint and it just blends into the shoe you actually don't notice um, that I had painted there at all uh, which and obviously that just helps with the overall process if you have to make minor corrections here and there without having to try and wipe away the whole thing and start over I was really excited for the hair and, and the process. I was also a little bit nervous because I've never really done hair detail before. Um, so I decided to paint with, to start off with a flat green color. From there, I added in where the shading and the darker parts of the hair would be. Um, and then I actually used the flat black, which as I mentioned before, if you made any mistakes, it would actually blend in with this matte shoe. So using that flat black, I was able to give the hair more texture. And then from there, I went in with the white highlights, which I then painted over with a lighter green, which allowed that green to pop because it had, again, a white base instead of a green base. So I didn't have to do as many layers of that lighter green because that white base was there. And this really gave the hair the texture and the detail it needed to kind of make those different strands stand out. And I think it turned out pretty awesome um, for my first try ever doing something like this. So from here, I will just let the rest of the video play until we get to the other side of the shoe.
So while it does seem a little cliche that on the opposite side of the other shoe, I am painting Batman, I did make this Batman encompass the Joker theme and I didn't have him just be his same old vigilante self. So again, as with the other side, with the Joker side, I did start off with a gray and white background, but because Batman's suit in general obviously is black, um, I needed to find a way to separate the character from the black background. So I added in a sapphire blue, which was a dark enough blue to still keep most of that dark essence of his suit. However, it adds enough of color and highlight to the suit that it actually stands out from the background and it doesn't just blend in. Um, sapphire blue is probably the darkest blue I have among my Angelus paints, but when I mix that with the black, I think it made it dark enough that it didn't take away from Batman's suit in any way. With the shading as well, I also continue to use a combination of white, gray, and that sapphire blue that I mentioned earlier um, to again add that shading and the detailing that would make Batman's suit obviously look a little more realistic, a little more 3D, but as well as keep the suit in that very dark motif. And in keeping with the Joker theme, um, very much inspired by the Batman who laughs, I wanted Batman to encompass that insanity of the Joker, which you'll see as this video rides out to the end. I hope you guys like it. Again, let me know in the comments what you think of both the Joker and the Batman Joker that I painted here.